I believe, I believe, I believe. You just keep repeating, I believe, and then suddenly, hey, you've got faith. That's actually not what the Bible tells us. Welcome to today's video, guys. I want you to um, take a look. We're outside again. Pretty nice. It was a beautiful day, so I thought, hey, come and take you to this amazing spot. And we'll walk down and I'll show you this awesome look out here. It's pretty beautiful. But today, we're going to take a look at why or how. How did you get faith? If you have faith in Jesus, how did you get that faith? Now, maybe you haven't thought about this before. Maybe you just thought, oh, well, I mean, I got my faith just by, like, willing it into existence. Maybe you thought you were just like, oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. You just keep repeating, I believe, and then suddenly, hey, you've got faith. That's actually not what the Bible tells us. And I want you to listen here to this verse, our passage today. It's two verses. comes from Ephesians chapter 2, and it's verse 8 and 9. And here's what it says. It says, for by the grace of God we are saved through faith and it's not of our own doing it is a gift of God and it's not by our works so that no one may boast now think about that it just told us right there which is pretty amazing it said let's look at the first sentence it says for by grace we are saved through faith. For by grace. Now, if you watched a video from a few weeks ago, we talked about what grace means and what God's grace is. And if you take a look, if you want to watch that, it was called Get God's Favor. Now, there you go. That's what grace is. It's God's favor. And it says right there in the first sentence that it's by God's favor, by his grace, that we're saved through faith. And then if we need any more evidence, we look at the second sentence. What's the second sentence in that passage says this? And it's not by anything that you're doing. It is a gift. It's from God. It's God who does it all. It's through his grace that he gave us faith. And it's not by our own works. So we can't boast about it. Now think about this. We got our faith how? We just asked for it. It was a free gift. We didn't have to will it into existence or do something to make ourselves start to be able to believe. And this is amazing because I've had people, my friends, sometimes they come to me and I've had friends before ask me like, oh, Jason, I can't believe you have this faith. I mean, I wish I had that faith, but, you know, I just can't believe it. It's pretty crazy. I mean, a guy comes, dies, rises again, all these miracles. I mean, I'm too reasonable to believe all this stuff. And know what I tell them, I go, hey, well, you know what? I'm reasonable too. <laughs> We're all reasonable. But I tell you something, there's faith. I didn't, I didn't somehow reason my way into it. Same as you won't be able to reason your way into it. And you can read them this verse, right, of Ephesians. It says exactly how we come to it. It's we just ask for it. It's a free gift. It's by God's favor and his grace that we can even believe something like this and I think if you if you're reasonable too you can see that yeah you know that is reasonable because how would we ever know anything of God anything outside this universe how would we ever come to reason our way to these sort of things you can't remember faith is what it's a substance of things that we can't see and you cannot see anything outside this universe right these are sort of God built it this way so that we had to have faith. And amazingly enough, he gives us grace to have that faith. He just gives it to us. It's all given. We don't have to do anything. Now, that's pretty amazing. And while you're thinking about that for a little bit, take a look at this view. It's pretty awesome. It's such a beautiful day. So just take that in and just think about this beautiful gift that God gives us, grace and to be saved in eternal life. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, true knowledge is meant to be shared. So tell a friend or two, or four, or six, or ten. Tell ten friends what you learned today. And 